Now let's get you the big story of the day that we've been tracking constantly here on India Today of a fire at Europe's biggest nuclear power plant as a result of the war between Ukraine and Russia. Europe's largest nuclear power plant is based in Zaporizhia in southeast Ukraine. It was attacked by Russians last night. Now, according to Ukraine, Russians are firing at the plant from all sides. But right now, the latest update that we can get you is that Ukraine has confirmed the shelling has now stopped. This after a fire broke out at one of the buildings in an administrative building, we're being told, which was very, very close to the reactors. Anything that hits the reactors could lead to a potential radiation leak. This is, of course, if temperatures go up and if the shell hits and manages to create a problem despite all of the fire safety measures in place. Ukraine authorities have stated that if this particular nuclear power plant blows up, if there is any radiation leak, it would be 10 times worse than what we saw in 1986 at Chernobyl. Remember that Chernobyl was a defunct power plant. What we're talking about right now is an active power plant. Ukraine claims that the authorities uh, have ensured that the nuclear power plant is now secured. Uh, the world was watching this footage very, 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 uh, very concerned about what was playing out, knowing full well that this will have consequences not just for Ukraine, but the entire world. U.S. President Joe Biden had a conversation with Ukraine President Zelensky uh, about what's happening at the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. The porters urged Russia to cease hostilities, allow firefighters, emergency responders to access the site. That was about an hour ago. Since then, what I can tell you is that emergency team responders are at the site. They're there currently. Uh, the flame, the fire, we're being told, is still very much on. So they're working to put out the blaze. But right now, uh, what's being tracked internationally by all agencies are the radiation levels, which they're saying is under control. There's been no spike in radiation levels. We're keeping our fingers crossed that it remains that way. Uh, because uh, if there is even the slightest of radiation leaks, it will mean a tragedy like no other. So the entire world came together to tell Russia to back off from this nuclear power plant. We've seen some truly horrifying nuclear disasters across the world. The one that comes to mind immediately with what's playing out right now is the 1986 Chernobyl disaster when a nuclear plant reactor exploded, again, due to temperatures going up. This was referred to many times as a man-made disaster, as a man-made accident. Then there was the one in 1999 in Japan, in Toikamura, where a nuclear accident took place at a uranium facility. This is a little different from what perhaps would have played out if something of a radiation leak had happened. 1979 in Pennsylvania, in the Three Mile Island, the cooling system failed in the power plant and this set off a huge, huge alarm. This was back in 1979. In 1961, in the North Atlantic Ocean, K-19, which is a Soviet submarine, uh, which is nuclear, it developed a radioactive leak. It sparked, of course, a lot of alarm across the world because this was in the ocean, in the sea. Russia has also seen its fair share, unfortunately, of nuclear disasters. In 1957, there was an incident of an explosion contaminated 500 miles across this particular plant. Uh, and that's exactly what we've been talking about. Any nuclear disaster, accident, tragedy leads to mammoth casualties and leads to generations of problems. Let's take this across once again to Major Samartur, who's been getting us the latest on really what you can expect. Uh, his expertise has been helping us to really understand how things can play out at the power plant. The good news, Major Thor, is that things seem to have de-escalated right now at this power plant. Uh, the emergency response team is there. They're working on putting out the fire. Russia, we're being told, has stopped its shelling for the moment. Uh, but in this kind of a situation of a fire breaking out at a power plant, is there a possibility of a radiation leak even now because the fire is still raging? Uh, Akshita, if you have a look uh, carefully at the images that are being shown to the audience, well, uh, this is uh, probably uh, a remnant of a white phosphorus uh, burning element which fell into the premises. So it's not that a direct shell had impacted onto the premises. So it has been a basic fire that has taken place and now it has come under control. And as I told you earlier, that the, there's, a, there's an organization in the United Nations called IAEA, 
International Atomic Energy Association. So they visit these facilities on regular basis, and as per the latest upgradations, the changes are made. Automated uh, fire extinguishing uh, systems are put into place, and control systems. So there is nothing which is worrying at the moment because, as you said, and as I also told earlier, that their drills are immaculate. and they are very regular in their drills in, in terms of such uh, such uh, emergencies so the saving grace is nothing has happened on to the reactor premises it has happened nearby the reactor within mm. the premises so i think it is a matter of uh, worry is uh, now lessened and we shouldn't worry as you also mentioned that live updates have come the fighting has ceased over there so probably both the sides have realized the seriousness of the problem if it goes out of hand so that is one saving grace that because you see the nuclear uh, disasters are directly going to impact human dna the living cells and atoms in your body start decaying within a matter of hours scary and the damage is so irreversible that it doesn't only really affect the human flesh and our body cells it also affects the surrounding plantation and all elements which are essential for human life and survival so i do not think anybody is going to take this incident casually from both sides very true that is one of the major reasons why the fighting has ceased I, I, and we're glad we're glad that better sense has prevailed considering all the details that you've given us of the catastrophic effect something like a radiation leak happens it goes on for generations it won't be limited to now or the immediate it goes on to much many more years as well like we've seen in chernobyl that entire area now has turned into a ghost town because of the fact that even now there are higher levels of radiation from that point uh, major tour thank you for joining us with your expertise there your views on what's happening right now at that nuclear power plant i'm sure people are listening and it's essentially given them a sense that right now there's absolutely no reason to panic because the nuclear power plant has been secured yes the fire is raging on but major tour telling us that there are very much adequate fire safety measures put in place to ensure that this doesn't turn into a full blown nuclear disaster we're going to be getting you all the details about about what's playing out in this nuclear power plant and much much more on the other side of a very quick break shivaroor and i will be joining you from the india today war room